Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Dan Hewitt. For the first full week of Expedition 47, the crew focused on preparing for the future. Tim Coper and Tim Peake installed new hardware for the Common Communication for Visiting Vehicle System, or C2V2 for short. This new system is part of a number of upgrades being made to the station to get ready for future U.S. commercial crew vehicles being built by Boeing and SpaceX. C2V2 will provide the communication needed for these future spacecraft to rendezvous, dock, and undock from the station. Commander Copro spent time creating islands, but not like you've ever seen before. The Observation and Analysis of Semitic Islands in Space, or OASIS experiment, studies the behavior of liquid crystals and microgravity. These are the same crystals found in the LCD display screens of televisions, computers, and clocks. They're even found in soaps and cell membranes. By studying how they merge together in microgravity, researchers can design LCDs that perform better in space, certain types of which could even be used in small display screens in the inside of future space helmets. This week, Twitter user D. Matsumura wants to know if there are any rules for spoken or written languages on the station. Well, there sure are, and with astronauts having come from 18 different countries and counting, it's important to make sure everyone can communicate. Communication on the station is in English or Russian, so all crew members take classes before they fly. For example, NASA astronauts start learning Russian as soon as they report for training, and can even spend five weeks in Moscow for full immersion. Training continues all the way up to launch to make sure they can understand the Soyuz spacecraft and communicate with their Russian counterparts in space and on the ground. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.